Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we are going to make another card today. Yes, I'm on a card roll. Um, this is going to be kind of a Valentine card, or maybe it could be just a card for your sweetheart. Either one. We're going to start out with a 6x6 six six card base. Now, I've just got just a, the single piece of paper, but I'm going to glue this onto a 6x6 six six card base. So this one is 6x6. Six six. This one is 5 and 3 quarters by five and three quarters, and we're gonna put some foam tape under this. Just gonna roll off some. I want it to, the layers to stand up just a little bit. So I'm gonna put a little bit of foam tape under it. Okay, then you're gonna glue it down and it's going to leave just a little bit of a border. Okay, there you go. There's your first layer. And then you have another white piece. And this one is five and a half by five and a half. And we're going to put it on foam tape. And if you don't have foam tape, you can use just that uh, little crafting foam that the kids use. You can use anything, a piece of chipboard. Just anything to put behind here to just bring it off off of the other one just a little bit okay, and then you're going to put that one right on the top of that just centering it up have that little bit of edge around it so that's what you've got so far then I took a piece and I cut a heart out of it and I use my Cricut to do this but I know some of you don't have a Cricut so what I'm going to do I have made a template out of this and then out of the little heart that we're going to put on top so that's going to go right there but we're going to put something behind this I'm using some of the Cricut acetate and let me see if I can pull it up here and show you what this is and I will link everything below this is the Cricut Foil Acetate. It's all different colors of foil. And I'm going to use a piece of this one, if you can see. It's kind of like a starburst. So I'm going to use a piece of this, and it's going to go right behind there. Just going to find out the best way to lay that. That looks like that would work right there. And I'm just going to put it down with some art glitter glue. Now you could go ahead and make a shaker card out of this. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it like it is. But you could definitely go ahead and make a shaker card out of this. And then I'm just going to take another piece of that dark gray. And I'm going to put it right behind there. See, I may need to cut off a little piece of that right there. You're just going to run some glue around the edges and then just glue that down, making sure that that heart is covered up. All right, now I have run this through an embossing folder and I debossed that a little bit on the front. You could always use the other side and have it embossed if you wanted to, but I just debossed it. So I, run, I just run it through an embossing folder. You can use any embossing folder that you have. So. I just picked one that had some hearts and some flowers and different things on there. This is a quick card when you start putting it together. It takes longer to prep everything than it does to put the card together. And then you're going to glue that down on top of that one. Just like that. So there we have that far. And then the heart that cut out of here, that heart, I'm going to use it. And I embossed it. And then I cut, I just freehand cut these. I drew them out and just freehand cut them and almost form another little heart. But what they're going to do, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, let's see, I need glue right down through here, just a little bit around this side, and then it should lay right on there, 
right on the edge of that heart. We're going to make a little pocket out of this heart. That's what we're doing. And then this one should slide in there and it should glue right there. So what we're going to do, and I should have put this one down first. Put your um, right side down first. That makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to slide that in there, just like that. And try to get make sure those are even at the bottom. So now we have a little pocket. As you can see, we have a little heart with a little pocket in the front. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue under here, just so that'll stay together really well. And I know that's hard to see with the same color on there, but when I start putting something in the pocket, you'll be able to tell. And I do have a template made for this as well, so that you can use this. And we're going to lay that, I think, let's see. Now, I want my heart to kind of stand out from the background, so I'm going to take some Hero Arts white ink. And this is just a piece of craft foam. It's that cut and dry craft foam. And I'm going to go around this heart with that white ink. Now, it takes this ink a little while to dry, so... When you go around it, you're going to have to let it sit for a minute and dry. Because this is a very pigmented ink, so it will take a little bit for it to dry, but it looks so cute. I'm going to run just a little bit on those little edges that I... Cut there just so they'll show up and you may have to do a couple layers on it I think that one's going to be fine with me I will try to link this below and the craft foam I use that for a lot of the inks that I don't um, have the little daubers for okay now we want to put some foam tape on the back of this so let's put couple of pieces back there and we're going to kind of lay it I want it to overlap just a little bit right there lay it about like that see that why it made it show up a lot better and then we're going to take and I've just got some odd flowers here and we're going to stuff some little flowers in there in different ways and these are just really really thin they're not very um, dimensional. And then I just cut out some greenery. And this is from a Tim Holtz die that I have. So I just cut this out. And we're going to just stick that in there in some different areas too. Kind of make the flowers look like they're on the greenery. And once I get it all in there like I want it, and then I'll glue it down. Okay, we want it to look something like that, so I'm going to take these out and start with my greenery. I'm going to glue it down in there. Then we'll start putting our flowers in there. Alright, we have our flowers and our greenery in there, and then I've just taken a little piece of this floss, and I've made a little bow, and we're going to put that right up there to just kind of make it look like that our little bouquet is tied together with a bow. So we'll put that right in there. Glue that down. Alright, so there's our little bow. And then we're just going to put a few pieces of bling on here, and it's finished. So it takes longer to get everything ready on this card than it does to actually make it. So I'm just using some very, very small white pieces of bling. And just kind of laying those around in different areas. Right, and then we have a little heart. 
And this is just a little pink heart, and we're going to glue that down. I'm going to glue that down right there. Just like that. Then we're just going to keep going and put a few more pieces of bling around in different areas. And there you go. That is it. You can put a sentiment on here if you want to, but I'm going to wait and just put all of my writing on the inside. But you could certainly put a sentiment on there. You have plenty of room to do that. You could always put something different behind this and make that show up a little bit more if you wanted to. But that is the card. Quick and easy to put together. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video. Up here at the top, you'll find two more videos that you might like to watch. Over to the left-hand side at the bottom right here, you'll find a link to our store. We've got new product coming very, very soon. I know we haven't had any new product in there in a while, but we've got some new product coming as soon as everything gets released from... Um, Creativation. I still want to call it CHA, but Creativation. And then over here, if you click on my face, you can subscribe to our channel, and we appreciate everyone who subscribes. So make sure you click that bell to be notified when we put up a new video. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye.